Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. Praleys. Free samples? Yes. Free Praleys. Free samples? Yes. From the moment you step inside the famed Savannah's Candy Kitchen, your senses take over. And any shred of willpower you thought you had, well, it goes right out the window. Oh, boy. Yeah, just the aroma. Is, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, get, I'm getting weight. That's what I was going to say, too. Yeah. But the Candy Kitchen's real claim to fame is that most southern of all confections, their world-famous pecan pralines. All right, I got y'all some uh, aprons ready. We're about to go make some homemade pralines. Y'all ready? I'm uh, ready for yeah. it. He's already been sampling, <laughs> FYI. Yeah. I can tell. You can tell by the smile on his face? At just 20 years old, Rhett Strickland is a third generation candy maker. We make more pralines here at Savannah's Candy Kitchen than any other manufacturer in the world. In the world? In the world. Whoa! Okay, check out these stats. Every year, Savannah's Candy Kitchen uses 1.3 million pounds of sugar and more than a million pounds of Georgia-grown pecans. So you guys are almost single-handedly responsible for a lot of weight gain around the world. <laughs> well, you know, you, you take your wins and losses in life, but if it makes anybody happier, I, I, I'll take that blame. Hey, you know. <laughs> All right, well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our sugar ready. So what exactly is a praline? Well, it's got the four basic food groups, sugar, butter, half and half, and pecans. Lots of them. Is it pecans or is it pecan? Well, I'm a true southerner. I like to say pecans. Uh, Some people like to argue, but I can't, I can't make myself say pecans. Pecan. Oh, look at you, can hardly say it. it. It's hard for me. <laughs> a little dash of baking soda, and then Rhett gets that baby cranking. Ooh, and there it goes. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. Man. For the 20 minutes or so that the mixture is cooking, we get to give out samples from another batch to customers. Come on in. Thank you. Melts in your mouth. You like? There you go, because you should have seen his face. That is a praline. Yeah, I'll pour it in your hand because there's little pieces too. Like some samples? Okay. You're gonna love that. Can I have your? She said I could have her sample. Have you had a praline before? Oh, no. you're gonna love this. Australia. You're gonna want to take some of these home. Germany. Germany. Germany? Wow. This is like the United Nations here. Wow. You know, I think I ate as many samples as I handed out. This is way too dangerous of a job for my waistline. Just put them all in. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Meanwhile, our batch of pralines was just about ready. We can butter down our table. Butter down the table. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Paula Dean would be proud of me. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that sound you're hearing, those are my arteries closing up. But, ooh, so worth it. See what we got going on here. Oh, my, that looks really good. Oh, it does. It even smells better. Now comes the fun part, scooping them out onto the marble slab where they take shape and cool. Now this is an art form, just to let you know. I'm gonna let y'all take turns, and we'll see how y'all got it. Yeah, as usual, it becomes a contest to see who can make the better praline. Of course, ladies first. And remember to grab your nuts with it, too. Oh, and it's hot. Yes, ma'am, it is 250 degrees right now. Now that one popped out earlier. Can I just put it over it? Yes, ma'am, you can. I do that all the time. All right, Rodney, you're up. Mr. Rodney, let's see how you can do. Okay, just. That's going to be a big old praline. Now, how is that one, Rhett? That one's a little big, but it's getting there. <laughs> I thought it was perfect myself. But. No, that's perfect right there. Hers are perfect. Now, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rhett, I have a question. Between me and Rodney, who would you hire? Ooh, between both of y'all. Now, that, that's tough, I have to say, but she's been perfect almost all the way through. <laughs> I mean, you, you got to give it to her. <laughs> A guy I have to. chooses between me or Jan. I'm not going to win that one. I mean. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.